let's face it guys, these days it's hard to be a developer. And this video is not something I'm making just because a lot of people are making it. It's because I'm in the same boat, I have been laid off myself before, I know how it is to be laid off just because a company is cutting and it doesn't feel good at all. The thing is that right now the economical situation in the world are quite sturdy uh, for everyone, not just developers. But if you have seen a lot of people at uh, Meta, Facebook and so on, they are laying off people all the time. And now there were recently also a lot from YouTube, which was a bunch of them. And there are coming more from what I can see. And this has to do a lot with AI as well. Because AI is coming in and it's automating a lot of the jobs, even though it's not in the newspaper that it has something to do with AI. Because these companies who are laying off, they are strategically planning what they can do with AI, so therefore they don't need that type of employee anymore in that field. You don't believe me? Well, you will discover that soon. Is this for everyone that you will get laid off soon? Well, in the United States, it's quite uh, common now to be laid off. Uh, but I am from Norway, and you have probably seen uh, with Marco, which is another YouTuber from Norway. He has uh, very good videos about uh, software development, how he broke into the industry, where he is from originally, and how he lives in Norway. So go check him out if you haven't. With Marco, it's in the description down below. But uh, what you can see that is that the people also from Norway, in most companies, from a forum that I'm following, is that you can see a lot of people are being laid off also in the consultancy field. Which means before you thought, oh, if I just get a consultant job right after I'm done with my uh, study or whatever and I'm, I'm safe for the future. Oh no, no guys, not at all. It's not like that anymore. The thing is that once the uh, employer has signed you, he can, when he wants, uh, say, oh, sorry, we don't need you anymore. And this actually happened to a lot of students uh, who were just recently in the newspaper. And and they basically were quite sad because they wanted to start their work and they just got a mail that says, oh, we, we don't need you anymore. So they had promised that they had a job after they took their master or their student thing. And right after they just got an email, just two, three months before they were going to start. Sorry, guys, we can't have you. So... It's not going to work. And they had to go to other employees that they have already applied for, which they had said no to on their, on their own. And you can imagine how humiliating that is, coming back to the own employer uh, that you wanted to have the job. And you said, I'm sorry, I have another offer, which is better than yours. And now you're coming back. <laughs> but you got to do what you got to do. Or you could think about this differently. I think from this, uh, from another perspective, because if you get hired by another company right now, you don't necessarily know what's going to happen. And why I'm making this video is because I know the situation in the world is going to change a lot, drastically more than we think, because things are getting more expensive. There's war, there's everything happening and everything is uh, influencing all of the things happening here at once. But a lot of people recently in Norway, friends, colleagues of mine, I noticed that uh, they are also getting laid off now mm. and that's pretty skilled guys like in design or CSS or front-end development and they're quite good and those people were sold out to companies and now they aren't able to sell them out because the companies they don't have any clients so what they, they do well lo and behold they go to the welfare system in Norway which is called NAV uh, which is a quite funny series if you guys want to watch it. Uh, it's called Nav. Uh, I can show you that. Um, quite humorous, uh, but I'm not sure if Nav liked it. But anyways, uh, they go to, or they don't go to Nav, but they say, oh, sorry. Mm. So they don't lay you off directly, but that's kind of what they're doing. And they're saying like, oh, uh, we have to give you permission. And what does that mean? It basically means that you're gone from the company. Uh, it's kind of like they could say, uh, oh, you have permission and oh, you will have uh, good evenings and you can come uh, to the nights and uh, we will have some programming sessions and you will do courses and certifications. But that's not in the company's interest. The company's interest is to save as much as money as it can. And that's why it's taking off uh, 10 positions that are making 
600, 700, 800 K, you know, in Norwegian Chromes. You can figure out how that is in, in your currency. And they just have to do that because that's the only way the company will live. But what does it mean for the person that are getting started or have a good job? Well, he is now in the welfare system of uh, Norway, which is called NAV. And what do they do? Well, they need to see that you have actually been laid off or have this permission. And this permission is nothing else than saying, sorry, we can't have you. And it's it's basically the same as being laid off. Come on, guys. Um, it's it's not bye-bye completely, but it's, it's like, oh, if the company is going to get better, uh, we will make sure to give you a call. And you can figure out what that means for most people. So even though they promise that they'll give you certifications or have evenings and stuff like that, that's usually not going to happen. And therefore now it's the Norway's curriculum. And what do Norway do with this? Well, they have the welfare system, as I said, and NAV takes care of it. And they have this uh, system where it looks like, oh, uh, what's the thing? Have you been laid off? Can we see the documentation? How long have you worked there? And how much money do you think you get from them? Mm -mm -mm. It's imagine if you were working as a software developer for 800k or 900k or even more bonus on top of that, one million Norwegian. And that's like going not just half of the money as many people think. I think it's around like 20 Norwegian thousand in month or something like that, where persons were like making 80,000 Norwegian in month. So it's it's a huge, huge, huge difference. And those people, they have to start drinking milk and uh, having uh, <laughs> having bread. And imagine those people who have been living a great lifestyle, having a nice car and so on, and they're just laid off, but just like that. So why am I focusing so much on this? Well, I'm trying to focus on the point that when you are laid off, are you now going to go out and hunt for a new job? It's going to happen once the company doesn't have any clients. Hmm. You know, and personally, I don't like to be at the company for six months. You know, I want to be there for like at least three years and, and give them good value. So that's why I decided on my own to, to become an independent consultant where I sell myself out to the companies out there by providing value like on this channel here. And I basically try to to give back from what I have learned to the communi community. So. Since I was a student, I was always happy about learning new things and wanting to explore things, right? So once I can like learn things and I can give it back, for example, like Azure or Cloud, which are quite advanced concepts and I can give it back to the community, that gives me a very good feeling because then I can help some people uh, to get better. While I was doing the same thing before, maybe I was struggling and learning about this and hopefully that will like help people. Yeah. What do you want to say? You know what do you want to say? All right, guys. Um, that's kind of it for this video. But using your skill sets and providing value in a different way, I think that's that's the key point here. Because we software engineers, we aren't made sellers, right? And that's not what we are born to do. But some of us are like to speak with people and have that those type of skill sets. But you can learn it. And if you know that the company is taking so and so much percent of you and they need to, to, to have like 50 clients in order to just have a big, big bonus for you guys, then imagine if you can find one client and I'm not only talking like about Upwork, I'm talking about going out in your community, researching, look at what people actually need and it doesn't need to be just creating websites. You can have your own consultancy firm and you can employ yourself at their firm or you can like say that I, I want to do this job for this fixed amount of price, right? And you could say, oh, that's weird because the companies, they are struggling, right? So they don't have any money. No, because software development isn't that at all. People or a company, they need skills. They need skills. So just keep working at your portfolio and you'll probably come further than just working on your portfolio. But try now um, to see what value you can bring. Learn about reactive programming, learn about advanced concepts in .NET, C Sharp, Azure. Learn about all the things that you need and you know that are wanted when you are hired as a consultant for a big tech firm like Facebook 
like Suprastera in Norway, and use those skills in order to attract clients. Brush up on your CV, and I recommend you to take as many certifications as you can do. And I want you to focus on this before you get laid off, right? Because it's very smart to see the enemy behind the scenes before it's there, right? So now that you kind of know the situation in the world, you can have like a pinpoint of what's going to happen in the next two, three years, or maybe even months. That's when you know that you can make a plan and you can stick to it. And by doing that, you can have your own firm and you can have your own clients and you can have your own fixed price. And I'm not saying this to be uh, bad or anything about those companies, but those companies are then going to struggle to hire or, or get 50 landed clients while you only need one or two or three and you can deliver great value of work and you will deliver as good work as you can possibly but you will also get a much higher fixed amount of price because now you are your own boss.